Hello everyone! Uh, today is a rest day in the Tata Steel Chess Tournament, so it's a good opportunity for me to visit some of your suggestions uh, from the previous week while I was away in Germany. Uh, this game here is uh, probably the second most requested game. The first one was that uh, uh, Anand win over Caruana. And uh, you all know that Hikaru Nakamura was visiting South Africa. He played the, the Speed Chess Championship Finals against Carlsen in South, South Africa. And uh, this is a game he plays against South African chess hustler. Uh, I couldn't find the name of this person. If any of you know his name, uh, do share in the comments. I will add it in the description. And uh, I believe the time format for this game is 3 minutes plus 1 second increment. So let's see this game. It's uh, quite a theoretical game. And uh, for those of you who enjoy a good Italian game, it will be quite a treat. Uh, so the, the, the chess hustler opens the game with e4 and Hikaru plays e5. We have knight to f3, knight c6, knight to c3, and knight to f6, the four knights game, and bishop to c4, going into the Italian game. Bishop to c5, we have d3, uh, castles by both sides, and d6. And uh, I don't know if it's just me, but uh, it seems like the sound of the pieces has changed, especially the castling sounds. Uh, might be something with my speakers, but I, I, I don't know, it sounds different. Uh, bishop to g5, this is still all theory, and h6 we have here. And here uh, white has a couple of options. He can either retreat with the bishop uh, to h4, maybe to g3 after black pushes g5, uh, or he can simply capture. We have captures, queen captures, and then go knight d5. Queen back to d8, defending the c7 pawn, and then c3, and it's a, it's a perfectly fine variation for white. Uh, here the hustler decides to go h4. Uh, we have bishop to g4 by Nakamura, h3, and now Nakamura does what uh, uh, what white didn't do uh, when he had the chance. He plays bishop captures, queen captures, and now goes knight to d4, attacking the queen. Uh, queen to d1, as the queen has to defend the c2 pawn. Uh, we have g5, bishop to g3, and now c6. So it's uh, still a pretty equal position, uh, both sides have to be very careful. Uh, knight to e2. Uh, Hikaru goes king to g7, he's ready to put some rooks behind those pawns and start pushing on the king's side. Uh, knight captures, bishop captures and c3. Bishop to b6 and king to h2 by white. Uh, we have h5 preparing h4, now f3 making room for the bishop on f2. Uh, h4 by Nakamura, bishop to f2 and now knight to h5. And here, uh, if you look at this position, Nakamura has a very firm grip on, on the f4 square. This knight is definitely ready to jump to f4. And the bishop on f2 is an excellent defending piece. It's uh, defending the g3 square also. It's going to be a useful defender. And here white should probably play something like d4 and keep the bishop on f2. Uh, but instead the hustler plays bishop captures on b6. We have a captures on b6. Uh, this only improves black's pawn structure and opens up the A-file for Nakamura's rook if needed. Uh, we have d4 now uh, and queen to f6. Maybe preparing ideas like queen to f4 check coming uh, with the knight to g3 and so on. So f4 is played here. And uh, instead of this f4 move, there really isn't an active move for white here. White simply has to play a, a waiting move such as bishop to b3, maybe rook to e1 and see what Nakamura's plans are. Uh, but he played f4, uh, this does open up the attack from the queen to the knight on h5, but uh, this, is, uh, this isn't working, uh, because knight simply captures and it's uh, very hard to see what white wanted to do here. Maybe it's just, uh, just a bad call or something, because there is there is no move Nakamura can make here that would actually be a bad move, other than something like queen to f5, giving up the queen. But okay, queen to g4. Uh, this does a activate the white queen, and here Hikaru plays queen to g6, unpinning. Uh, we have d captures on e5, d captures on e5, and now rook to f2, uh, preparing to double up on the f-file. Rook a to d8, now Nakamura grabs the open d-file, and we have rook a to f1, now Nakamura doubles up on the f-file. Uh, we have b5, uh, kicking away the bishop, and there really aren't that many squares for this bishop, d3 is unavailable. Uh, e2 isn't really that that much of an active square, uh, but uh, whether you go bishop to e2 or bishop to b3, still Nakamura's idea is rook to d2. So bishop to b3 is played and now rook to d3, uh, rook to d3 now. Uh, rook to f3, 
uh, and we have rook f to d8. Now Nakamura doubles up on the d file. Uh, king to g1, and now rook captures on f3. Rook captures and rook to d2. Here Nakamura has uh, a very nice attack on the g2 pawn, threatening to win the queen. Also, he's threatening to win the b2 pawn. So, rook to f2. Th uh, this is the only move that really stops uh, both threats. Uh, Nakamura captures, rook captures, king captures, and uh, here it's a very nice... Uh, move by Nakamura. He played king to h6, although it seems like Nakamura can win some material with knight to d3. Uh, after he plays this knight to d3 check, after king to g1 and he does grab the pawn on b2, uh, you have this queen to e2 move. Now, you do have to do something about this knight. If you play knight to c4, then white wins back the pawn. If you play knight to a4, then uh, white has this queen to e3 move, and this knight really doesn't have anywhere to go. Uh, other than b2, but then the queen will just attack it again. So this does win a pawn, but it really, you know, uh, displaces the knight on the edge of the board. This is not something Nakamura was interested in doing. So after this, king captures on f2, king to h6 by Nakamura. Uh, queen to f5, offering to exchange queens, and uh, Nakamura is uh, already up a pawn here, so a trade of queens isn't uh, isn't that bad for him. Uh, he plays queen captures, we have pawn captures, and now king to g7. Uh, defending the f7 pawn, also preparing king to f6 to grab the f5 pawn. Uh, we have g3, h captures on g3, king captures on g3, and king to f6 now. And uh, there really is no point uh, in protecting the f5 pawn, as you're gonna lose it anyway. Better is to just give up the pawn and grab the f7 pawn. Uh, if you play something like bishop to c2 to try and protect it, uh, you can, because knight to d5 is coming. Now, the threat is, of course, knight to e3 to attack the bishop and the pawn. So after you stop this king f3, now comes knight e7 with a double attack on the pawn. And after you defend this with king to g4, now comes knight to g8, threatening knight h6, checking the king, uh, kicking him away from the f5 pawn, and then grabbing the pawn with the knight. So this would be, this would be futile. So after h4, <clears throat> uh, bishop to c2 wasn't an idea here, so h4, uh, Hustler goes for a more active approach. Uh, we have g captures on h4, king captures on h4, and now king captures on h5, and bishop captures on f7. And uh, it's, uh, it's almost an equal material, Nakamura is up a pawn, and he does have double b pawns, but this is a passed pawn, and it's, uh, it's very hard to stop this pawn, I mean, it's, it's impossible to stop this pawn. Uh, so Nakamura starts pushing it. e4, uh, bishop to b3, e3 now, king to g3, king e4, protecting the passed pawn. We have bishop to c2 check, knight to d3. Uh, as you can see, the king doesn't really have a way of approaching, uh, of approaching this position. Uh, we have a4 now, but simply e2. You can simply disregard whatever ha whatever's happening on the queen side, as this pawn is now becoming a queen. Uh, the king still can't approach, the pawn is guarding f1, knight is guarding this square, uh, king is guarding f3, so there is a wall here. The, the white king cannot approach the passed pawn. Uh, bishop captures, king captures, and king to f4. Now this is a completely lost position, but uh, uh, Hustler doesn't, uh, doesn't want to resign the game. Maybe Nakamura will blunder, or maybe, maybe he will lose on time, you know, you never know. Uh, so e1, queen, and the, okay, now uh, this is uh, set to auto-promotion here. Uh, uh, my interface immediately grabs the queen, uh, but uh, in the game uh, when Nakamura was playing the South African chess hustler, uh, the hustler was holding the queen in his hands, and Nakamura just left a pawn uh, instead of a queen. So here the hustler played uh, king to f5, and here Nakamura played pawn to e4 check instead of the queen. And uh, here they had a big argument, uh, was it a losing move for Nakamura, was it okay to move a pawn? Uh, then Nakamura said uh, that the rule is, if your opponent is holding the queen in his hands, that you can actually move the pawn. So, I don't know, I, I have no idea what the rule here is. If any of you have any idea, do share in the comments. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure you cannot move a, a pawn for four squares. So, uh, But after a, a two-minute discussion, they decided to continue the game. Uh, but I will put the uh, original link in the description below. If you haven't seen it, feel free to check it out. It's uh, quite, a, quite a brutal game. Uh, so king to f6, and here you can see Nakamura's immaculate uh, technique, how to checkmate with uh, the king and queen. 
Uh, we have he, uh, Bishop K B captures on a4. Nakamura grabs the pawn for some reason. King g5, we have queen to f3, locking the king uh, away so the king can't go anywhere. He can only now use the b, the, the g and the h file. Uh, king g6, we have queen f4, c4, king to e4, c5. Uh, the hustler is trying to give up all the pawns, so maybe, maybe he can create a stalemate. Uh, king e5, we have king g7, queen f6 check, king h7, king f5, uh, king to g8, now king to g6. And uh, if only uh, the hustler didn't have this uh, b2 pawn, then uh, <laughs> then it w would be stalemate. But here he is forced to play b3 or b4, doesn't really matter. He plays b3 and uh, Nakamura plays queen to g7 and this is checkmate. So uh, a great victory for Nakamura and uh, he really showed how to play a nice uh, theoretical game. And uh, if you play this opening with black, it's, it, it's a nice game to see. Uh, but it's interesting, was this uh, pawn to e4 check move uh, possible or not? Nakamura says it's possible <laughs> uh, if your opponent is holding the queen in his hands, but uh, I, I don't think it is. Uh, either way, it wasn't an official game or anything, it was just for fun, so everything goes, I guess. So yeah, uh, that's the game. I do hope you enjoyed it. A lot of you have requested this game. Uh, I would like to thank uh, Dame Pletvaretz, uh, Satish Mahadevan, uh, Benny Tang and Christopher Kuhn for your contribution to my channel. Thank you a lot. I really appreciate it. As usual, you can check two of my previous videos here. Uh, thank you all for watching and I will see you soon.